Praise God, brothers and sisters. Reverend Dr. Catherine Weathers from Moments of Miracles Mom. I just want to thank each and every one of you for joining us. Thank God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit for allowing me to give this wonderful message on today. You know, sometimes we need to come out of the church doors and just learn information about how the church got started or just learn about other viewpoints of Christianity. My mentor, Dr. Rochford, taught us that sometimes we got to come out of the church and take our family to interesting places where we can learn. Um, learn how to dine in a fancy restaurant, go on a cruise and learn how other people live, go abroad to Rome, Paris, China. These are the things that we need to know and that we want to teach our young how to be social and relate to people of all races, religions, amen? Different viewpoints about different things. I understand the Bible says that we are in the world, yet we're not of the world. And being in the world, we need to be as wise as serpents and gentle as doves. And in saying that, I'm saying we can't lock ourselves in our home and not peek out to see what's going on in the world. Because when we lock ourselves in behind closed doors, we end up coming outside and the very thing we're trying to miss, the serpent is right there ready to strike at us. Amen. So my grandmother, before she died, she bought a painting of Jesus Christ knocking at the door. And I don't know, my aunt, she confiscated the painting, but she confiscated it and she gave it to me. Being a pastor, she felt that I would appreciate that painting from my grandmother. And believe it or not, I do. Today, I did a little research and I found out that Warner Sailman, born April 30th, 1882 in Chicago, created this particular painting of Jesus knocking on the door, but basically representing him knocking at our hearts. Amen? So I want to entitle this thing, a knock at the door. A knock at the door. Because one thing I've learned, and that is, God is always trying to get us to open our hearts to Jesus. Because that's how he first related himself to me. It's through Christ. Amen. The Bible contains many beautiful portrayals of the Lord, but one of my favorite is Revelation 3.20, which states, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hears my voice and opens the door, 
I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. Isn't that a wonderful saying? Oh God, thank you for loving us. Thank you, Yahshua. In one of salesmen, well-known painting of this scene, Yahshua, Jesus, stands outside a closed door and his hand is raised to knock. Since there's no handle on the exterior, the only way Jesus can enter is if someone on the other side opens the door. Although the biblical context is an illustration of how the rich, self-satisfied Laodicean church excluded Christ. The same principle can also be applied to the way he relates to us as individuals. Amen? We all begin life with a door separating us from him. Because of the sin in our hearts, None of us are naturally drawn to him. And Ephesians, Ephesians 4, 17 through 19, which states, This I say therefore, and testify in the Lord, that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk, in the vanity of their mind, having the understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them because of the bitterness of their hearts. 19. Who being past feelings have given themselves over unto lasciviousness to work all uncleansness with greediness. Oh God help us. But Jesus takes the initiative by coming to the door and knocking. There are only two ways to respond to a knock. Ignore it or open the door. I recall a young man telling me he wanted to pursue his own happiness before inviting Jesus in. He wanted to do it his way. That's a dangerous choice because with each refusal to open the door, our hearts become harder until we're unable to hear and respond to Christ's call. Amen. To open the door, you must simply believe Jesus is the Son of God. Repent of any known sin and surrender your life to him. From that day on, when you do this, Christ will come into your life, forgive your sin, and become your savior and intimate friend. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Everything you've been looking for is wrapped up in Jesus. It's time to open the door and enter into a loving relationship with him. Father, we thank you for keeping that door open for each one of us to enter in. Thank you for the call. Thank you for drawing us in. And thank you for the love. In Yahshua, Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen, and amen.